The basic idea of these webinars is to have a chance and opportunity for groups of our students from all of our schools get to connect and overlap and share with one another and um, and help one another by by sharing their experience. So hopefully today we've got some questions and some opportunities for you to share and I'll get out of the way. We'll let the adults get out of the way. But um, we have some other folks who may drop in like Sherry to listen or ask questions and uh, that's another opportunity that we want to open up as a chance for you to ask each other questions but also people who may be interested in starting projects like this at their schools so um yeah feel free to to jump in at any any time with questions like i said in the chat bar or just uh by raising your hand and, and stepping up and saying hello but why don't we get started unless i'm forgetting anything ray or devin sounds good to me Cool. We're so, ready. All right. <laughs> awesome. So uh, we have some questions that we'd love to have uh, the groups answer uh, one at a time, and then we'll have a chance for uh, everybody participating to follow up with questions they have. So our questions are, what are your goals, and how are you working to accomplish them? So that's question one. What are your goals? How are you working to accomplish them? And then... A chance for you to share what weekend events you might have coming up and uh, again what you're hoping to accomplish during these events what are the what are the main goals what are you hoping to get out of them and then finally what advice do you have for students starting projects at their schools so I'll, I'll prompt you with uh, the questions if you forget but again there describe your project what events you have coming up and advice you have for other students who would be starting a project similar to yours who would like to go first? You want to have Skyline jump in? Yes, yes, we will go first. <laughs> cool. And and Skyline, it seems you have a smaller group because you're getting out for the day. Uh, these students are staying a little late past uh, past their meeting time. So maybe you can introduce yourselves real quick too. Just say your names. Uh, my name is Michaela. My name is Hillary. My name is Michaela. My name Awesome. We can hear you great. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> some or our next weekend event is December 19th, Saturday, December 19th. Um, and it's at Diamond Park. And so next Wednesday, the 6th, um, we're going to go to Diamond Park, and Michelle is going to teach us how to plant native plants. And then on that Saturday, we're going to teach um, the volunteers and whoever shows up what we learned, so how to plant the plants. We're going to teach them how to plant. <laughs> okay. So we actually made um, letters in the class, and... You get the honor to hear the longest one that was written. So, it was telling about the activity this morning. Yeah, it's pretty much about the activity that we did today. Do you know? You guys are ruining my flow, man. I'm already nervous. Okay. So it was pretty much an activity that we did earlier today, and I think it was simple. So we just wrote some advice um, about it, just what we did, how we did it, what we learned, like that. What so. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some advice I like to give you about presenting to another class is to project your voice, use creative methods to get the attention of your class, interact with the students, and create a song. We think you should use these methods because it will create, it will create a better presentation, a better learning environment, will enable the audience to understand the importance of your presentation. And these are a few steps that you should consider doing. Step one, get the attention of your audience with a song, because songs are the best, a dance, and a game. Step two is to, is to interact with a lot of enthusiasm or the subject, um, or give incentives to, like candy. Um, step three is to talk about the topic and draw out the ideas from the students, and don't drift from the topic. Step 
for is to give a summary of the presentation, to give the importance of it, like the overall importance. And you should also plan out your presentation. And should I share the other stuff or what she does? The other stuff is um don't have a chance to ask questions. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Jayla. So today we did a presentation on watersheds, like the general idea. Um, and so we were we're each different grade level. Like we're not all seniors. So like the juniors did their class, or like they came into another class to present about watersheds, and the sophomores also did that, and also the seniors. And um, <clears throat> so we gave them a pre-survey when the class started um, to ask them, like, how much knowledge do they, do they have about watersheds and, like, uh, what, what um, factors affect watersheds. Um, and then we had them do a demonstration like, um, um, to see what, to try to define what a watershed is. We had them crumble paper, and then we had them um, like expand it, and then form it into a mountain, and then we had them spray the top of the water, uh, I mean, the top of the paper with water to represent rain, and then we had them observe what was happening um, to see if they could try to define what a watershed was, and then <laughs> yeah, and then um, yeah, we just and then we told them. We asked them to imagine if Oakland uh, was at the bottom of um, the mountain, and then we asked them uh, what kinds of things would um, get in the water. Yeah, yeah, pollute the water, and um, yeah, they were all in, um, enthusiastic about it. And we had a post survey um, to see how much they remembered and how much they. Um, learned and yeah yeah cool that was a lot thank you <laughs> any questions for uh maybe we could take some time and have uh any create some questions for us yeah and oakland high is now in the house too so oakland we, high hello hello do you have any questions they uh, okay uh, so um Sorry, is it? Are you able to hear us? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, what were some of the events that you had planned? I'm not sure that one. Or did you? So on Saturday, December nineteenth, we have an event at Diamond Park in Oakland, and um, we're just going to go and we're going to teach the volunteers that show up how to plant native plants in the area, and we're going to plant them. All right, thank you. I got I got a question about today. The, the photo that you had up there with the the crumpled paper was that from today? Yeah. Cool. So, um, can you tell me a little bit about the like the student feedback you got from your presentations today? It was so much better. It was. <laughs> a lot from the um, pre-survey to the post-survey, so I mean it's been really good, like really confident that we know what we're doing and we are able to teach it to others, so. So, so the students that you taught today showed uh, some type of growth or that they understood the subject? Yes. Oh, whoa, hit us with some charts here. Yeah. You, this way, trying to. you want to describe uh, the difference between the blue and the red? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the blue is, we had a total of 77 students take the pre and the post survey. And um, so the blue is the pre survey. And Devin graded it based on like how specific it was um, or how much detail it has. And so the blue is how many people in the pre survey that got um, zero points and one point is one percent and then the red is the post survey and so that's how many people answered the question in enough detail where 
then they earned a point. Um, and so that ranges from zero to 100% as well. Nice. Nice charts. Um, well, <laughs> you want to take some questions, Antioch? Do you guys have any questions about the work that Skyline's been doing or what they were up to today? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Mackenzie. Um, what was the most challenging part about keeping your audience entertained in your presentation? <laughs> um, it was just really challenging because Caitlin, I the sophomores, and it was right after lunch, so we were like either eating or they were kind of tired. Because they just ate, and they had a lot of side conversations, or they just didn't do the work. But we came out with candy and candy cane. Nice. And so, um, whenever they answered a question, even if it was wrong, as as long as they tried, they had like an incentive to pay attention. <laughs> nice. Thanks for that question. Well, before we switch it up to another school, it sounds like a cool project today, and uh, that's a lot of students to talk to, 77, uh, especially when uh, you, you get a little little taste for what it's like being a teacher uh, for, for a little bit. Hard to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard to do. So I, we, we commend you, um, and I think that a number of the other schools, and maybe we'll hear from Oakland and Antioch, are also going to be doing some work educating their peers. So hopefully there's something that they can uh, learn from and also maybe share with you guys for the next time you work on uh, a project educating your peers too. Well, let's move on. Unless there's other questions, feel free to jump in. Any others? I'll take that as a no. So... <laughs> Uh, let's let's move on and um, Antioch, if you want to step up to share, and I'll I'll while you're getting in position here, I'll just remind you the kind of questions we want to have you go over are describing what projects you're working on, uh, how are you how are you moving forward as a group, um, and what events do you have coming up, and then finally, what advice you might have for uh, other groups working on similar projects. Hello. Hey. Um, we're working on, um, we're gonna, our project is we're going to put out recycling bins around the school, well, like the main areas, and we're planning on um, putting posters up and telling people to like recycle and basically teaching them that it's better to recycle and not just leave your stuff on the floor and all that. We're trying to reduce marine debris. Yeah. Thank you, Jasmine. <coughs> Hi, guys. I'm Lonnie again. Um, so the second part of our project is we're going to be doing presentations to the classes, like Skyline did. And we're going to go to the classes at the beginning of next semester, so like a month. And we're going to talk to them about why the recycling bins are up there and how, why they should use them and everything, and try to reduce it a little bit, the recycling the garbage and everything. Yeah. Uh, I'm Brianna and some weekend events that we have coming up is we are going to be doing a kayaking trip in the Delta so that we can like see where we live and discover parts of the Delta that we haven't probably seen before. And we're going to be doing an Earth Day event with the city to help educate not only our peers, but the community around us. <clears throat> I'm Latave, and advice I, would ha I have for students starting their own projects is to listen to everyone's ideas so that you have a more wide range of everyone's ideas contributing to your project. 
quick one. Guys. <laughs> so thanks for sharing Antioch and let's just take a minute for uh, Oakland and Skyline for you to come up with some questions that we can ask uh, to Antioch uh -huh. and whoever would like to can start Well, it seems that you got uh, <laughs> it seems that you guys are um, doing a wonderful job, so yeah, keep it up. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can we go on your camp uh, your kayaking trip with you guys? Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh it's so fun. Okay. Aww. Take the <laughs> so I have a question for you guys at Antioch. Um, you were just saying that some of your advice was around getting as many people or, or many people to give their opinion to, so you can have more voices and more ideas. How are you doing that? How are you practicing that advice? We have a volunteer for the hot, hot cake for the group. So what we're really doing in our meeting, we really want to try to get everybody to talk a little bit when we have questions or making schedules or anything. So like there's some quiet people who don't want to talk at all. We make them talk. So <laughs> that works for us. I couldn't understand that. Was somebody just asking a question? Oh, no, sorry. We had an announcement to go over a loudspeaker. Oh, it sounded like a robot. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, we got a robot student. Awesome. <laughs> Embracing tech. <laughs> so uh, the I have another question. Can I ask another one? Am I butting in? Skyline, you got a question? No. Oakland? Yeah, yeah. You want to get on the kayak trip. Does that have a question mark at the end? <laughs> so, um, Antioch, you're doing more than just kayaking around on that trip, right? Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to get out and, and see the your local shoreline, um, but what else are you focusing on during that kayak trip? Yeah. Jasmine, you want to come up? Um, <laughs> um, while we're at the kayak trip, we're also going to be doing um, like bird watching, we're just looking at different species of birds around the Delta. <laughs> Um, so did you guys say that you're focusing on recycling bins at your school? Yeah, but we had one more thing to add to, to um, Jeff's question, and then we'll talk more about the, the recycle bin. So Jasmine shared with us we're going to be doing some bird watching, and we're going to be doing one more thing when we're out on the kayaks. So we're going to remove trash from the Delta while we're kayaking, too. Good job. <laughs> And I'm sorry, what was the, the recycle bin question? It's like, are you going to focus on like compost bins and stuff or just recycling? Are we focusing just on recycle bins or are we doing compost bins still? If it's just recycle bins, why did we decide to do that? 
Um, I'm Cassie, and um, we're um, mostly going to recycle um, what was it? cans, um, bottles, because that's what we mostly found around the school. You know, the kids like the Starbucks glass things and all that. When did you find that out when we went outside and did what? When we, um, we, we separated into groups and we went to different parts of the school and looked at what trash we had and what was the majority of it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thanks. So uh, unless we have more questions for Antioch, just for respect to uh, for everyone's time, we'll get on to Oakland and we'll pose the same questions to, to you all, but I'll give a, a moment here in case uh, other folks have questions for Antioch. Hey, Doug, this is Sherry. I actually, I have to um, jump off, but I just wanted to say that, that um, thanks for letting me join and, and it sounds like you guys are doing a great job and have some awesome projects lined up. So, great. Nice. Thanks, Sherry. Thanks for joining. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Cool. So Oakland, let's have you uh, jump into the hot seat here. And uh, hello, hello. <laughs> well, welcome. Well, guys. <clears throat> well, my experience in our team in three words is fire, adventure, and knowledge. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm kidding. Well, so far, yeah, like it's been so fun. Like being this um program, like I've learned a, a lot of things, and like we have went around to like do volunteer works, which is pretty good because it helps their um like community and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and I'm Ebo. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, Pebble was a little nervous. Uh, so each group is going to go around and describe their projects. We're going to go ahead and start with Reggie's group. If I can get Reggie's group to come in. Uh, so Tamia, Reggie, come on through. Uh, Hi, I'm Reggie. I'm Tamia. I'm Wendy. And so, our group project is to lessen the amount of beverage bottles and cap litter that's in our, our school. Our goal is to get a reusable water bottle company to sponsor us and to get pledges from the students within the school to never use plastic water bottles. And to achieve that, we're currently working on a sponsorship letter, a pledge, and a poster. Nice. Oh, you're heading out there, Skyline. Thanks. Are you standing <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Shannon. Henry. Okay. My name is Ben. Now, we're going to be working on plastic orders that will be part of the marine debris. So our campaign is that we're going to be going to create a public event by doing litter pickup around a watershed, which is the Lake Barrett. Okay. What is the date? Yeah, it's going to be on, um, I think, December of 19th, which is a Saturday at um, 9.30 um, to 12 o'clock. And it's, the lake is basically right in the Lake Merritt. Yeah, it's, you should know where it is. <laughs> yeah. 
there's a uh, more date see that to come. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, what's that skirt? Hi, my name's Elizabeth. Hi, my name's Elijah. You already know me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the goal of our project is to reduce the litter, litter that goes into um, storm drains, and we'll, we will accomplish our goal by building our own filter to advert trash. And right now, we're in the process of building a prototype, and we hope everything goes very well. I think that's oh, And we're going to install it by school, so that way we get to monitor our data more frequently. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's about it. All right, our last one. Come over here. Come over here. Um, hi, I'm Khalil. My name is Angelo. My name's Strong. And for our project, um, we're painting the trash cans around our school. So uh, it'll become more visible and it'll help uh, lessen green debris. Because um, people will be more, more, uh, they'll be more appealing and people will be less inclined to litter. Um, to get people involved in our school, we're making it a competition to see who's whose uh, mural or art to be posted upon the trash can. Yeah. Cool, thanks all. That's all of our four groups at Oakland High. Um, I'm going to invite Henry to come up and tell you guys about uh, some of our upcoming projects. Henry? Okay, I think I already mentioned that. Do you want me to mention that? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, um, once again, I think I already uh, mentioned this, but um, on uh, December 19th, which, which is Saturday, there's going to be a um, cleanup at Lake Merritt from uh, 9 o'clock, um, or not from 9 o'clock, from 9.30 to uh, 12 o'clock, and um, it's the first uh, day of the Christmas break, so um, it might not be the most convenient, but it's definitely convenient for us, and uh, Lake Merritt is right off uh, the 580 freeway, so... You know where 580 is. Um, it'll be easy. And it's a community service. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Henry. Okay. Right. I'm so. Nice to have you. Elijah, can you? You're going to come up and share the, the uh, advice. Oh, oh my gosh, I dropped it. Why not? Okay, so we each roll. Um, okay, just the reason. My name's Elijah. If that's or if you want to say your name. Okay, whatever. So, um, all the interns we each wrote like a little passage of how the how do you like like. How do I explain this actually? Oh, how to advise your um, fellow peers about creating a campaign or a project around school. So we each wrote like some sticky notes and I'll just read them. Uh, the first one says, be aware of the watershed. Watershed, hear your community. And the second one, always remember that it's for an important cause. Third one, Smile, teamwork, be passionate, thoughtful, be efficient. 
don't do it alone. Stay positive. Every little thing makes a difference. Stay positive. Defy negative actions. Help. Remember, you live here too. Find out what degrees there are. Fully plan before starting a project. It takes a lot of work, so keep grinding. <laughs> it's worth it to see the outcome. Don't just look for plastic. Remember that marine degrees can be many different sizes and levels of fun. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for sharing. So let's let's take a moment and uh, field some questions for Oakland. I know we we have four groups there. You guys are all working on some really cool projects. So uh, for our remaining couple at Skyline and Antioch, um, take a moment and field some questions. Throw them to Oakland High here. Just throw them. We'll catch them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I have a question for group three, painting trash cans. Um, so do you guys think that painting the trash cans like a really pretty mural or whatever form of art you're doing is actually going to work? Because, well, not work, but I know at Skyline, people throw like food on our trash cans. Um, I don't know if that happens at your school, but how do you think that will affect your project? Um, so we're involving the school to encourage using the trash cans. Plus, it's mainly going to be helpful because the trash cans around our school are right now, they're really hard to find. And like, they're not really visible. They kind of blend into the background. So we're trying to kind of make them pop out. So, you know. That'll at least help a little bit. Thanks. And then another question. I have another question. Yeah, go um, for it. Kind of for like all the groups. So in order to raise awareness about your project, like for group um, three, uh, raise awareness about the trash cans and then group one, encourage reusable water bottle use. Are you going to like present a concept to educate why it's important or why it matters or how are you going to tell people about it? So we're going to include it in, the, in our daily announcements that happened in fourth grade and we hope everybody listens to them so we hope some people um, listen to them and Well, it's for your project. <laughs> oh, yeah, so during last Thursday, we, during birthday, we had, there was like a little convention here um, downtown Oakland where we basically got to showcase what it was that we were doing that year and we're planning to do the same thing this year. Uh, the event is called the State of the Estuary Conference. No, 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 wrong one. Oh. oh, okay, then I get that. <laughs> <laughs> so this year is the cleanup event at the mm -hmm. Oh, three. Not one. Not three. 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 Yeah, we're gonna be posting posters, like putting up posters of the school to spread their awareness for the students so they can come and participate in the event. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, I did. Awesome. Well, let's take one more question for Oakland, and just to respect your guys' time, we'll wrap up after that. Uh, one more question, maybe if Antioch, somebody have a question for Oakland? Yeah. 
I wanted to ask about the prototype that you guys have. For, um, what's your like design from that? Okay. I will since you are the architect. Okay. I was kind of shy, but this is what he drew. I can see that. Oh, um, okay. We're explaining. Well, that's a storm drain right there. And underneath the storm drain, it's going to be a little filter. We're not sure what's going to be made of first. I was thinking of like some kind of metal metal like wiring or a cloth that will prevent large pieces of litter from going through, but water will be going through. And to prevent prevent buildup, we're monitoring it by uh, taking off taking out the trash so it wouldn't like stop the water flow. Cool. Ta da. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm sure we could ask many more questions, but um, we'll wrap it up here for today. So thank you all for at Skyline and Oakland. I know you both are staying uh, past your normal meeting time. And Antioch, you're just getting started, so have a good rest of your meeting. Uh, any last parting words or questions we want to throw out before we wrap up from anybody? Feel free to jump in. All right. Wait, 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 Doug. Oh, we got, yeah, go ahead. How old are you? <laughs> Take a guess. Somewhere between 15 and 55. Nice. Me too. Cool. Me too. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, peace. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the field soon. Keep up your good work. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.